Vlogging Gears. Today we're going to unbox and review Challengers by Z Man Games. This is for ages 8 and up, it takes 45 minutes to play, and it's for a 1 to 8 player. This game won the Kinder Spills to Jars Award in 2023. Uh, in the back, it says Challengers build, build your dream team. Win the world's greatest capture the flag tournament. Uh, get ready to capture the flag. I like capture the flag. Challengers is an addictive deck management game with up to four duels played simultaneously in a unique tournament. Gameplay style. Face a, a new opponent each round in an intense duel. From outer space aliens to deep sea creatures. Draft over 70 different characters from their unique abilities. Create the most eclectic team with perfect synergy. Surprise your opponent with epic combos. Capture the flag, win trophies after your seventh match. Be one of the two players with the most trophies and fans. Reach the ultimate finale to become the champion of challengers. And they have eight different starter decks. Uh, and one robot deck, so if you have an odd number of players, you can always add a robot. Uh, the decks are Shipwreck, Outer Space, Fun Fair, Haunted House, City, Castle, and Film Studio. Contents, 36 cards, 4 park play mats, 4 flag discs, 40 fan tokens, 28 trophies, 3 card trays, and 2 robots. Now let's open this. I already ripped it on accident. Okay, so here's the rule book. There are four flags, 40 fans, trophies, and some card decks. Uh, the maps, everything you need is here. It looks pretty simple. It's, there's not many rules. Here's a game example. Oh, uh, there's T-Rex. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look that hard. Okay. Now this, I'm not too sure what this is. These are stickers. I think you put it on the boxes where you put the cards because the cards have boxes. Here are the trophies and points, star points. Some of the trophies fell out. Here are the flags. The birds are that I thought, they're pretty big. Let me show you. I like the colors. Oh, nice. I'm liking this game already. Red, and then the yellow's the same thing, and then so on. Okay, here are the battlefields. This kind of reminds me of Onitama. Here's one of the battlefields. This one's the red battlefield. So that's one of the battlefields. That's the same for the rest. And then here are the card boxes. Seem pretty nice. Yeah. They're pretty nice. Uh, let's see some cards. So, here are the, uh, here are the different, uh, cards for this. This is the movie set. So, this one has, like, a bomb. Oh, cosmic character. That's what it's called. A lion. Why do they have a line in a set? A heroine? Villains? And lastly, the T-Rex. Nice. Let's, this looks cool. Let's do one more. Okay. Okay, for some reason, this, this next faction is thick. It's thick. It's just thick. So maybe it's less powerful. But they all have effects. So I don't know. This is the uh, festival one. Or whatever you call it. The carnival. That's what it's called. There's a clown. Some jugglers. Uh, vendors. Ponies. Pyrotechnicians. Clairvoyant. Mine. Rubber Ducky. 
uh, bumper cars. I like this one. And then teddy bears. And then in this one, here, uh, you decide who you're going to battle and what battlefield. So on the first round, you'll battle that uh, the first person in that battlefield. So whoever else has purple on the top uh, will battle in that battlefield and so on. So purple goes with purple, red goes with red, uh, and then it'll, they'll keep going on and on. And here are more cards. This is the robot deck. So if you don't have anybody to play against, you play against the robot deck. Uh, if you're playing one player or a three players or five players or seven. Any uneven number, you'll play with the robot deck. And there's a lot more. There's a castle. Uh, what's this? I don't know. City deck. Yeah, that's what it is. City deck. Oh, some more film cards. Okay, so it looks like they all have this much. It's just they're all mixed up. We'll play this game and come back with our final thoughts. The objective of the game is to gain the most fans in the world's greatest capture the flag tournament. Every player takes a six card of their starter deck. Each round starts with the deck phase. One, move to another park if necessary. Check your tournament plan and which park half you are playing this round. Step two, draw and pick cards. Draw five cards from the available level pile of the current round. The number of cards that you keep is shown on the tournament plan. Step three, remove cards from your deck. At the end of the deck phase, you will remove any number of cards from your deck. Next is the match phase. During the match phase, each player plays against one opponent. Shuffle your deck and start. Determine who begins with a flag toss. Both players flip over their cards and the person with the bigger number captures the flag. During your attack, reveal cards one after the other until their total power is equal to or greater than the total power of cards in flag possession. Your latest revealed card is now in flag possession. Slide all other cards that you may have revealed during your attack underneath your card in flag possession. When you're defeated, place all your cards into the bench. Stack all the cards that are the same. Your opponent is now on the attack. Continue playing until a player wins the match. There are two ways to win. One, your opponent is on the attack, but can't get enough total power to get in flag possession. Two, your opponent must put one or more cards on their bench, but does not have enough empty seats available. Step three, if you win, take the topmost trophy. If you win the match, Take the trophy of the current round from your park and place it next to your tournament plan. After the seventh round, the two players with the most fans go into a 1v1. And the person who wins that battle wins the whole thing. Here are my final thoughts. Overall, this game is super simple and easy to play. Uh, I like all the factions and how each one does a different, uh, it does a different function, like the party, the carnival faction uh, helps you get fans. The city faction is a bit of everything. This is more fun with more players because then you play with a different person every single time. Uh, so one time you'll fight this person with this deck and then next time it's a totally different deck. So uh, it's definitely more fun with more people. I really hope they make an expansion with this with more factions. Uh, that you can add into the game. That would be really cool. Uh, and if they do that, we're definitely getting more. This is super easy to play. Uh, so if you're little, like me, uh, you'll definitely understand this. The rules are super simple. I really like the skeleton card because you can just build a whole army of it so it doesn't take any bed seats, plus there's eight of them. So you can just keep getting every single one of them. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase it in the link in the description. Bye!